Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the iPad Mini 5 on iOS 15 that was recently released with the lineup of iPhone 13 release and the Mini 6 generation for the very first time. It's been a while since Apple has finally upgraded the iPhone I, the iPad to a newer version of it. So the Mini 6 is out right now. You can actually get that as well. But this is the Mini 5, which still from the time it was released back in 2019, it's been a little over two and a half years since it was released in March of 2019 that this has been out and around. And since then, we haven't seen any upgrade to this device except for the of course the mini 6 that was released so this ipad again has been around for some time and now we are able to upgrade it to the latest version which is very good news for this ipad because that means it's going to be supporting all of your popular apps and it's going to be around for some time before before you need to switch over to the mini 6 if you like the mini design the mini is like the smallest that you can get of the ipad it's just slightly bigger than if you have one of the pro max models right now it does come with the a12 bionic chip 3 gig of ram so there's a lot of power to it of course not enough if you were to compare it with the new phone but it does have that so when you do upgrade it one thing to notice is that the upgrade takes about four to five gigs so if you haven't updated you're simply going to go to the settings and then general software update and you probably see the update here as you can see we're at 15.0.2 that's because there has been two minor updates that was released even after the 15 update to fix bugs and issues like that but so far it's been stable we have run it as you can see the update takes somewhere between half an hour to 45 minutes it could take longer depends all on your wi-fi connection that you have if you're good wi-fi it could take you somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes if you have crappy iPod wi-fi it might take you a little bit longer so that's one thing to note so you'll start to notice things like the widget that wasn't possible before now you can actually add widgets to your home screen again that's a neat feature we saw on the iphones but wasn't quite available till recently on the ipad so now you have these widgets you're able to edit widgets on the uh, multi-task bar as well in the notification bar as well here we can actually move things around and it just gives it a little bit more power to it and just a cleaner ui of course there's a lot of updates that come with ios 15 itself you're going to see updates to just the ui itself you probably started to notice that the design has changed slightly here and it's a little bit more cleaner you're going to be seeing updates to the safari application where now you're able to create tab groups and new tab layout as well so that's going to be another feature that comes with it you'll see it's more of a browser like that you would on a macbook so that's going to be something to notice here that's coming along with the new update all of this going on for you also you'll notice updates to uh, things like uh, the map application as well so if you haven't updated two maps here you'll probably notice the global view and then guides as well that you can explore now and just simply being able to do a lot more of it the mini 5 is a powerful device so when it comes to rendering graphics and such we see that it does a pretty good job compared to the mini 4 which we recently reviewed if you guys want to check that out as well so you're going to see updates to the map as well there's also updates to FaceTime as well so if you have haven't seen it the FaceTime now you're able to actually send FaceTime links to anyone whether they have iPhone or not they can simply join from their Android or PC as long as they have an internet connection and a browser then can open up that link so you're gonna see that going on as well there's also oh, updates to the, the Siri itself if you haven't used Siri you're now able to do offline searches so it doesn't really reach out to the apple servers now you can simply just go ahead and and just call on siri and you should see a slight bit of performance gain as apple has advertised it's something we haven't tested out but it's probably something you'll probably notice as well uh, other things updating is going to be notification you're going to see this new focus mode now where you can actually turn on this mode where it is to be just do not disturb on the ipad you have personal versus work so if you're using it for work it's going to give you filtered notifications specifically around your work applications and things that would be for your work 
versus when you want to do personal, say you're maybe watching show, movies, or just looking to use it for your fun activities, you're probably going to turn on the personal mode. Again, that's going to be a neat feature, being able to focus on what you're looking to do. Of course, because the Mini 5 does support the Apple Pencil 1, you're able to actually utilize it to do your graphic designs, your sketch up, your writing, all of that. So that's going to be a neat feature with it. And this is probably why the Mini 5 is one of our favorite devices of the Mini lineup because it is the first time Apple supported the Apple Pencil. So that's going to be a key thing going with the Apple Pencil. Of course, it would be nice if it supported the second generation of the Apple Pencil, but that isn't the case. You're going to also be able to see things like being able to now multitask. As you saw here, you're able to copy photos uh, across your applications as well by using drag and drop. You're also going to be able to translate on different applications in different languages as well. You see we have app library going on and updates to the face emojis as well so there's going to be a lot more going on around being able to use that if you use the device for iMessages of course the iPad here does not have a f the phone option because it is the iPad but you do have FaceTime as well so a lot going on all of your popular apps again here as we started to utilize or been working fine we haven't seen any popular apps sort of crash or anything like that so all of that is going to be working pretty nicely so as you can see here we're able to just load up things pretty fairly quick so performance wise the ipad has hold up pretty well so far nothing to complain there especially coming on to some of the more popular apps we start to see that depending on the app itself you might see that as well if you're using it for online shopping anything you name it you're going to be able to do that without any issues all of your Popular apps again are supported. We have an encounter issue as you can see when we open up YouTube You're simply able to just load up the images and the videos on the fly without sort of any issue or lag as well Talking about lag and issues the other thing we notice is that the battery on this the iPad mini again Like with the other mini they're rated to give you about 10 hours of video playback or just simply browsing internet interaction and such and so far the battery has held up pretty good we would say we haven't seen any drastic drop in it so when we did the upgrade the battery was fully charged it dropped about six percent or so we were charging as well so but since the update the battery you haven't seen anything wonky or anything weird with the battery itself so I suspect that the battery won't be an issue for us of course that's going to be something later on we test and we'll let you guys know if we do encounter any issues with the battery itself so there you guys have it for the update of iOS 15 on the iPad mini 5. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Also, we want to hear from you guys if you guys upgraded your mini 5 or any of the iPads to iPad uh, iOS 15. What your experience has been like so far. Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.